Well, it is another step forward in the efforts to bring lucrative youth sports to the Sacramento region. So hours ago, city leaders in Roseville voted unanimously to cement the city as a sports city. KCR 3's Mike Desell live in West Roseville now to explain what happened to make the competitive sports landscape even more worthwhile. Mike, good morning. Yeah, and those are the words of one city council member who said, yeah, we are definitely a sports city. We're live right along West Brook Boulevard right now. And this morning is the sun coming up. Construction getting underway again. This construction right here behind me, the latest in a years long push by multiple communities in this region and school districts to invest in new athletic fields and complexes and take a look because this is a bird's eye view of Roseville's latest investment to fulfill its vision as a quote unquote sports city a new lighted 10 field soccer complex with concession stands, a new playground and plenty of parking, all of it taking shape. What happened last night is that city leaders voted unanimously to ink a 12 year, $5 million deal for the naming rights for what will now be known as the Placer Valley Soccer Complex. Why this is a big deal is that the Placer Valley Tourism is a part of this. They're the ones paying for that, and they project an estimated 600,000 athletes and fans every year could generate up to $15 million annually in hotel, restaurant, and other business impacts once this is opened. We can see um, just the impact that the Roblin Center has had over the last few years. Just this year alone, we've already generated 18,000 room nights from that one facility for our hotels. And I know that the soccer complex is going to do great things as well. And here is where enthusiasm about this soccer complex set to open late next year could turn into opportunity for you. Now that this complex has a new official name, the city says it is advertising the availability for you to sponsor the individual fields. There's 10 of them, and you could uh, be the one sponsoring those fields once this is open and starts attracting all that sports business. Interested? Contact the city of Roseville. Live in Roseville this morning, Mike Sell, KCRA 3 News. All right, Mike, thanks so much. And Roseville City leaders also approved a smaller deal with the Roseville Auto Mall to name the concession and plaza areas of the new complex.